All right, now, welcome to Will Mega TV. Today, I have a really good interview with you with Philadelphia's own Aaron McKee. He's a NBA retired all-star, drafted number 17 in the 1994 draft. Coming out of Temple University, coached under legendary John Chaney, coming out of Gratz High School under legendary coach Ellerby, uh, drafted number 17 in the NBA first round by the Portland Trail Blazers. He's played for the Los Angeles Lakers. He's played for the Philadelphia 76ers. He's been an assistant coach on the Philadelphia 76ers. And currently, he is the head men's basketball coach at Temple University. I'm talking about Philly's own blue. And if you're part of the cookout, you know why we call him blue. But nevertheless, I wanted to bring this opportunity to you today. We've been talking about Dion. We've been talking about HBCUs. We've been talking sports. We've been talking about Brittany Griner and global politics. And I thought I would bring something to you a little lighter today, but just as uplifting. So stay with me. Check it out. Great interview. I think you'll like it. Short piece, but check it out. All right. And if you like what you see, I'm going to ask you to do this. Listen, click subscribe, click like or dislike. I don't care, but just participate. At least write something in, in the comments. And if you really feel on me and you want to support the show, throw a brother a little something. This stuff is costly. What do I mean? Cash app, that's dollar sign, cash app, Will Mega, W-I-L-L-M-E-G-A, dollar sign, Will Mega. Thank you for always tuning in, and before to share this segment with others, I would greatly appreciate it. Have a great day. So we're here with uh, Aaron McKee, Philadelphia High School basketball legend, Rats High School. Aaron, talk to me about your experience playing at the Donald Field Class. Uh, it was a great experience for me. Um, we actually won it. I played for the Sunny Hill sophomores, juniors, and seniors. We actually won it my junior year and my senior year. In my senior year, I won MVP. Um, it's a great tournament. Uh, you get a lot of players from the uh, tri-state area, Philadelphia, Delaware, New Jersey, New York, and the surrounding areas, which is great because you get a you get a chance to see a lot of the uh, local talent. What, what brings you here tonight in 2014? Well, I'm a basketball fan. I get the opportunity to come out and watch some basketball games, and also I get the chance to watch my little nephew play, uh, LeVan Austin. You know, who I take pride in watching them come out here and play basketball. So. You know, it's a great opportunity to come out and just enjoy the game of basketball and get to see some of the best talent around. You're a major part of Philadelphia basketball fiber mm -hmm. on the college level, the high school level. You play there as a Sixers. There's not too many people who can have, who have that experience of playing in Philadelphia on all three levels uh, for their hometown. Can you speak to the significance of that and what that was like? Well, it's a childhood dream come true. I mean, as you said, how many kids get the opportunity to play high school basketball here, play collegiate basketball here, and they get the opportunity to play professional basketball here. And also, I had the opportunity to coach here as an assistant coach for the 76ers. So it's a childhood dream uh, that came true, but it just goes to show that hard work and dedication definitely uh, pays off. So now you're doing some commentating, color com com commentating with Comcast. Rumor has it you, you may be looking at doing some more coaching. How, how true is that? Yeah, that's my thing. I enjoy being involved in the game. I'm, a, I'm one of the grounds guys. I like to be down. I like to teach. I like to try to share some of the lessons that I that I got um, in my days of playing basketball with a lot of these young guys. And, and hopefully I get the opportunity to do it again and, and be able to help some of these young guys. So you play under some amazing coaches. Uh, would you like to speak to the coach? Uh, give us the names of the coaches you have coached. Uh, uh, you've been coached by. Uh, well, my high school coach Bill Ellaby, uh, one of my mentors, and my AAU coach. Well, it wasn't AAU at that particular time, but John Harnett, who is a historian and a Philadelphia great as far as coaching and developing players in, in the city of Philadelphia. Uh, John Chaney, 
uh, Larry Brown, uh, Phil Jackson, uh, you know, those, go down the list. Man. Those are some legends. Yeah. So just give us, uh, for the road, one, one little tidbit that may have come out of the mouths of any one of them inside of the locker room or something that really stuck with you. Well, I think for all of those guys, they were honest guys. They, they wasn't the kind of type of guys that shot from the hip. And if you worked hard, you always gave yourself a chance to play. And that was me. I was one of the guys that was willing to, you know, really work hard and open those guys' eyes up to uh, things that I could do or maybe help the team. And they gave me an opportunity to play. So I was grateful. Two last questions. One, who was the best high school basketball player in Philadelphia you played against? And two, what are your thoughts on Wilt Chamberlain? Wilt Chamberlain, uh, basketball is one of basketball's all-time greats. Uh, one of Philadelphia's all-time greats. Um, you know, there's the age-old debate with Wilt Chamberlain, Shaq, and Wilt played in this era, Shaq played that era. You can't argue uh, Wilt number. If you look at his numbers, one year he led the NBA in assists. I mean, one year he averaged the uh, triple double. So you can't argue argue those numbers, you know, as far as. Uh, but you know, I got the opportunity to play against Doug Overton, Lionel Simmons. You know, a lot of the Philadelphia great, you know, basketball. When I think, in my opinion, when Philadelphia was at at its apex as far as uh, basketball. You, and, and, and I'm sorry, one more last question. This is the final last question. Philadelphia has this unique history about its the, 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 the grittiness of its guards. You're a Philadelphia guard. How did that come about? Like, what is it about a Philadelphia guard? We get at I think we, we, we enjoy sitting down, playing defense. Uh, we enjoy being physical and touching guys. And if you watch the game of basketball now, a lot of guys are really not that interested in being physical. And that's something we took pride. Being physical, and if we saw you flinch, then you know it's like a shark smelling blood. We're gonna be all over you the rest of the game. So that's a Philly guard. All right, thank you. Yep.